All right, what brings you guys out here tonight at the ESPYs? Well, I mean, I heard it was a good time. Yeah, I heard it was a real good time. Well, Lots of athletes. You, you should always know hanging out with athletes is a good time. You want to be here, free drinks. You're on a rooftop overlooking what I believe is the Hudson, right? Right, we're on the west side of the island. No, Dude, is that I'm Brooklyn? Texas. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm from River. Arizona, so. No, I, that's East River. Okay, right. It doesn't matter, it's beautiful. The weather's fantastic. Before I get into the movie, can you please do your best Kurt Warner impersonation? <laughs> oh, so, it, so what you want to do is, what, what, what you're looking to do here is, you, you want, really want to, you know, it's all in the court. You know, you really want to throw through. You want to throw through. You really want to throw through the ball. That's we, what you want to do. I know the movie's already bounce, shot, but we bounce. still got work to do. We still got work to do. <laughs> can you talk a little bit about the movie? I'm actually, like, what took us so long to get a Kurt Warner movie? Yeah, what did it take so long, Kurt? You know, I think that what waiting took us so me. long. They were waiting that, for me. That may have been it. But what takes so long is getting it right is that yeah. this has been in the works for a long time now and we've gone through different writers and different producers along the way and we're just like, we're not making this movie until we get this movie right, until we tell the right kind of story and we have the right kind of people involved. And so, you know, there was a time where like, well, maybe, you know, everybody says it's made for Hollywood, but maybe we're not gonna get this made. But again, we always believe in God's timing and you got a movie called The American Underdog at a time when we're going through the pandemic and there's a lot of different things going on and interwoven between the, the movie is my underdog story and a number of other underdog stories and I just think the timing is perfect for our country to be able to kind of get back and we all kind of are in that underdog mode right now but saying hey this is not the end of the story there is more out there and it's all coming. And yeah. for you, what does it feel like playing a Hall of Famer? Not to put you on the spot, like oh, him no, standing no. here and everything, uh, it, but playing it, a Hall of Famer. Did you so ever cool. think you'd do something like that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, as a young kid who knew I was I was going to be an actor, that's what I wanted to do in my life. Uh, I had every faith that I could play whatever role God was going to bring my way, and maybe that was going to be a Hall of Famer, some athlete. I didn't know it was going to be Kurt Warner. <laughs> I'm so glad it was Kurt Warner. I'm so glad I got to learn so much about this man and his family's lives, and learn so much about you know what it takes to be at a Hall of Fame quarterback, and the hits that you. I mean, I took half hit. I wasn't even. I was taking quarter he hits. Didn't take I, any oh, hits. you stop Those it. He's lying. I took some hits. hits. I took some hits. Pads underneath he you. He wasn't guys, there every day. He slowed know. down. Anyway, Come anyway. on. I was so it's say, awesome. What, how are his football skills? They're okay. Yeah. They're okay. They're okay. They are okay. I mean, that's the thing. Is I think you have to go in with the expectations. I, I don't want him to be quite as good as I am, even though he's playing me in the movie, because that would be a little bit embarrassing, yeah, right? If, if I learned it, how to in be three that months, good in three he months. got as good as I was, but I, mean, I thought he did. He a good point. I thought he, he did a point. great job. But Thanks. I think you always appreciate when you go in as a football player and you watch somebody have to play you. You're like, man, I understand how much work goes into that, and I think he appreciates on the other side how much work goes into playing our oh, yeah. game and being a professional oh, yeah. athlete. Yeah. Absolutely. Last question I will ask you is, what do you hope people take away from this film? Because you are inspiring and people know bits and pieces of your story, but now they're gonna really get to see the whole thing. Inspiration. Yeah, what, what I hope is that people are encouraged and inspired and in that uh, you know those that are out there that are dreaming or they find themselves in different walks of life and say, okay, this is not where I expected to be and I'm not sure how to get out of here. That's what my story is, is I found myself in that place going, up. I don't know where I go from here, but but I know I'm not staying here. And through those steps, able to get to the Hall of Fame and have the success. And, and I think it's one of those stories that can resonate with a lot of people. Don't have to be a football fan, don't have to be a dreamer in terms of sports. But if you have that desire to want to be more and have more, this story is for you. Okay, well, congratulations on the film. We can't wait for it to come out in December and have so much fun tonight, guys. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thanks for having us. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.